there, everybody. <laughs> Phew, driving this train is hard work. But we've reached the halfway point of our journey now. So everyone is stopping for a little while to have a break. <laughs> so far, the journey has gone pretty well indeed. We have had a couple of incidents. At one point, a wheel fell off one of the wagons, so we had to leave that behind. And then the train broke down, which was quite embarrassing, but we soon got it fixed again. We even reached our top speed of 15 miles per hour, albeit only briefly. I think if we have another go, though, we can maintain that top speed for much longer. <laughs> anyway, now that we're having a break, some passengers are getting off and other passengers are getting on. In fact, I think there's a few too many passengers. We've only got space for 300 people, but there's at least 550 people on the train. Some of them have sat on top of coal wagons and are hanging on to the outside, which seems a bit dangerous really, but as long as they're careful, I'm sure it'll be okay. I guess really, everyone's just very excited, aren't they? And for good reason. We've just added two more wagons to the train, and for the rest of our journey, the Yarn Brass Band will be joining us to play some lovely music. <laughs> Now that the band's here, and everyone else is back on the train, it's time to set off again. Next stop, St John's Well, Stockton. <laughs> but the train is moving very slowly. We're only going at four miles an hour. Now, we've got an opportunity to reach our top speed just in a moment, and I'm going to go for it. It does mean that we'll be pushing the train to its very limit, but it's worth it, isn't it? Right, here goes. Hang on tight, everyone. <sighs> <laughs> it's working! We're doing it 15 miles an hour! Oh, what a rush! <laughs> How are the passengers doing back there? A man has fallen off the train. What was he doing on top of that pile of coal? He must have lost his balance. We've got to stop the train. <laughs> oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What should we do? Oh, can you think of how we should help him? What would you do if one of your friends was injured? Have a think about it. And once we've helped the man, We'll carry on our journey. Oh dear, oh dear, Done it! 
We've arrived in Stockton. <laughs> hey, thanks for all your suggestions about how we could help the man who fell off the train. I've checked in with him and he's going to be okay, which is really good news. It's given me a lot to think about though. We've got to make sure that the railways are as safe as possible so something like that never happens again. And also, I think the driver needs to be a bit more careful when travelling at the train's top speed. I've learned that lesson today. You know what though? I'm so glad that you lot could come on this journey with me. I know we've had a few hiccups along the way, but overall, I think we can call today a great success. And that means it's time to celebrate. <laughs> We're going to go and have a big fancy dinner at the town hall, but before that, <coughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go and have a wash because driving the train is very stinky business. <laughs> so I'll see you lot in a little bit. But till then, take care. Bye for now, everyone. Oh. <laughs>